Hey y'all, what's going on? This video is going to be about when I started wearing wigs and or weaves and um, you know, how I felt about the whole process, how I even got into it. Okay, y'all know I got a story, right? Okay. I started wearing weaves, I mean, I think when it came out, I think I was like 15 or 16, I, I think, I'm pretty sure I was, I, maybe 16, um, I just thought, hey, this is the bomb, you know, of course the glue days did all the gluing in and all of that mess, yes, I think, I know I started wearing weave when I was at least 16, and really just enjoyed the, um, ability to change and, and you know do different things with my hair I was trying to dig out some pictures for y'all back in the day but <laughs> I couldn't no I ain't gonna say I couldn't find them but it was too much work trying to figure out what I was gonna scan and all that so I just said forget it <laughs> but y'all would be straight up tripping on those pictures <laughs> anyway wigs now I've been wearing wigs at least uh close to 10 years I think and what happened was I was flying home from college something like that maybe longer maybe longer than 10 years I was flying home I was somewhere I had a funeral to go to and y'all my hair was hit when I say hit I mean you know it was hit but I had a funeral to go to and my sister at the time she was wearing wigs, and so she was like, girl, you better get one of these and try to, you know, work it out. So, of course, I grabbed one of her little wigs and, you know, tried to do it up, and yeah, for the funeral. Got turned out ever since then. But, the only issue with that wig, my first wig, it was everything a wig should not be. When I say everything, so yes. It was everything a wig should not be. I call it my Lola Falana wig because it was long and bushy. It was shiny. It was wiggy. Y'all, it was horrible. <laughs> but I did not even know no better. You understand what I'm talking about? So y'all, I got this wig on y'all and I think I'm doing all that and some. So I fly in from um, the funeral and my husband picks me up at the airport. Now, he's so gracious and so sweet. <laughs> he didn't even tell, he, he said he didn't even want to say nothing, which he didn't. So y'all... He he was like, oh my God, I cannot even tell her how bad that wig is looking. Because, you know, she would think that I'm, you know, being, you know, just overly, you know, just talking about her or whatever. So, he never said anything about the wig until, uh, I'm going to say probably a year later. <laughs> he said... You thought you was looking too good. I couldn't tell you that wig didn't look no good. It was it was right. I couldn't tell you that because you thought you was looking good. <laughs> Y'all, that is too funny. But yeah, the wig was mm -mm, it was it was horrible. It was horrible. But um, as I began to wear other different wigs and have wigs, I got better with blending them or whatever. But my first wig, it was horrible, y'all. And when I say horrible, y'all, it was horrible. My poor husband didn't even want to tell me the truth. <laughs> but it came out. So, you know, you live and you learn. What can I say? But, again, one of the reasons I enjoy um, wearing wigs is it's so easy. Y'all, my hair is so, so thick. There will be follow videos following this video breaking down the history of my hair and you know why I've come to this conclusion about my hair and I'm hoping that I can get free from this mindset but my hair is a lot of work and I'm I just you know why why do I have to go through all that why do I have to spend hours curling my hair in the heat and then you step outside and it drops why so I mean why would I have to go 
go through all that when I can just put on a wig and work it. So this is just a tidbit. Um, this is starting my hair vlog series. There will be many more vlogs on hair after this. I will chat with you guys later. Bye-bye.